Hey everybody, uh, we're about to get started on the second video in this NIM series. Uh, if you're watching this one, I hope you've had a chance to actually play some NIM. If you haven't played any NIM yet, then go find a friend, uh, teach your mom to play, or whatever. You can play against pretty much anybody. But I want you to actually play some NIM before you start learning the strategy from me. So uh, let's take a look at it. Last time we were playing a game where there was, uh, I guess there were three over here, and there were two here, and there were one here. And uh, I went first last time. If I remember correctly, I took this one and I lost. But So now I don't know what's going on here. I don't know whether I made a mistake or maybe you can always win. Maybe, you're just, maybe you just always want to go second in this game. What's going on here? And uh, what I want to do to figure this out, and this is what I want to do in all problems when I want to figure something out, is I want to look at an easier question. What happens, if, what happens if we have an easier game? What if we just have this game? There's just one piece. You want to go first or second? You probably want to go first. I mean, if I go first, then I'm going to take this, and the game's over, I win. So, okay, we understand that game. Now that we understand that, let's kick it up a notch. What if we have, what if we have two in the same group here? Do you want to go first or second? Well, you still probably want to go first, and you could just take both of them, and you win. Okay, maybe not so, maybe not so interesting. It doesn't really matter how many you have here. Now I have a group of five, and you still just want to go first and take them all. Okay, so... Now, I think we understand all the games now where there's just one pile. If there's one pile, you just want to take them all and you win. Easy. So let's look at now games with two piles. What if we have one pile like this and one pile like this? Now, do you want to go first or second? Well, whoever goes first is going to take one of these. And then the second player gets to take the last one and they win. So this is one thing that you've probably noticed if you've played a few games in NIM, is if you have, if you get down to a situation like this, you don't want to go first. If it's your move, you're going to lose this game. Okay, so now we have a basic sense of what's going on in the strategy. We understand the games with one pile, and we understand this game with two piles. The next question to ask yourself is, what about other games with two piles? What do you want to do if there's, I don't know, maybe one pile with five and another pile with four? Or... If you want to start with something easier, which I always recommend, what if you have one pile with two and one pile with one? Or two piles, each of them have two. So these are some things to think about. Find somebody to play with and explore these games and see if you can really figure out the strategy. Don't just play around. Don't just guess. See if you can figure out whether the first player wins or the second player wins. Good luck, and I'll see you next time.